It's time to ditch those boring black or those single colored backgrounds. Take your title or graphics work from this to this with just a few effects. In this tutorial, we'll be using fractal and distort effects to make this happen. Dude, nobody cares about the effects you're using before you show them. It's just an intro. So, I can do better. By all means, be my guest. In this After Effects video, Jordan's gonna show you how to create liquid-based effects for your backgrounds. See, that was easy. What are we even paying this guy for? Okay, time to show Josh and Nikki why they should still pay me. So in order to get this awesome liquid background effect, it's actually pretty simple and it only uses a few different effects. The first thing we'll do is set up our composition and use the fractal noise effect to get the start of our liquid background. We're gonna start by going up to composition, composition settings, check the lock aspect ratio box, then make the width of the comp 5000 and click OK. We want the comp to be really big because the liquid effect is very complex and we want to have a lot of space for it to fill out. Now go to Layer, New, Solid, make sure it's the same size as your composition, and click OK. Highlight the solid, then go to Effect, Noise, Fractal Noise, Effect, Distort, Turbulent Displace, and Effect, Color Correction, CC Toner. For the fractal noise, increase the contrast to around 165. This will make the black of the noise much more pronounced. Now open Transform, uncheck Uniform Scaling, and set the scale height to 10,000. You can see that when we do this, it stretches it out to a point where we get this rippling visual, and you can see the liquid effect start to take form, even though right now it looks kinda gross. Finally, max out the complexity at 20, then open up sub settings, set sub influence to 25%, sub scaling to 10, and sub rotation to 300 degrees. This adds more definition to our ripples, which will help bring more life to our liquid as we keep adding to it. Next, we're going to use the turbulent displace effect to animate and add to our liquid effect, then use the toner to color it. So, on the turbulent displace, set the amount to 215. You can see that if we go past this amount, you'll start to get these black ripple artifacts on our solid, and we do not want that. So you need to increase it just enough so that it doesn't get to that point. Next, set the size to around 345, and complexity to 2.5. Now you'll see that the liquid effect is going to start to get nice and goopy. To animate the liquid, hold down the ALT key on your keyboard and click the stopwatch next to evolution, then type in time asterisk 20 into the expression controls box. Now the liquid will continuously animate. To color the liquid, we'll go to the toner, set it to pen tones, we'll start by setting our highlights to the base color we want it to be, which is going to be this nice light blue. Then set the brights and midtones to both be a pure black for contrast. For dark tones and shadows, start by copying that light blue from the highlights, then go in and edit them to make them each a bit darker than the last to add even more contrast. You can play around with these settings to get some cool color combinations, but this is the basic technique that I'm using and that you can use to get a similar effect. And now we have our liquid effect colored and animated. Before moving on, everyone knows that making motion graphics can sometimes be troublesome and time-consuming. Our solution to that problem is that we've made thousands of templates to save you time and help you produce awesome work under one subscription price. You can look at templates from all of our packs, like our Transitions Pack for example, and just click Apply. Now you can easily modify the parameters of the template, and you're done. So if you want an essential tool for your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Lastly, we're going to add some post-processing effects to tie everything in our composition together. Start by right-clicking the solid, select Pre-Compose, we're going to name it to Fractal, make sure that Move All Attributes into New Composition is selected, and then click OK. Now go up to Composition, Composition Settings, and we're going to set our composition dimensions back to 1920 by 1080 and then click OK. Now highlight the pre-comp. Press S for scale, and decrease its scale so that we can see the whole liquid effect, but stop right before you reach these linear parts of the effect on the left and right side of the screen. Highlight the pre-comp, go to Effect, Stylize, CC Glass, and Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation. For CC Glass, open up Surface, set the property to Luminance, Softness to 80, 
height to 100, and displacement to 20. For the light, we'll set the light intensity to 150, light type to point light, light height to 50, then set a keyframe for the light position at the start of the timeline. Set the light position to be on the left side of the composition like this, move to the end of the timeline, and then bring the light position all the way to the right side of the composition like this. Lastly, for optics compensation, set the field of view to 85 and enable reverse lens distortion. And now you're done. An awesome animated liquid background using a few really powerful effects. Check out our links below to get our free After Effects templates and remember, always be creating.